sad. I was too sick to eat it because, you know, it's got a lot of fiber. So before it totally shrivels up and goes bad, we're going to dehydrate it. And we have an Excalibur dehydrator. Yeah, it has the nine trays. And we're going to start slicing this bad boy up into quarter inch slices and get her in that dehydrator. What better to do on a rainy day? Then dehydrate watermelon. Um, now I've heard that what dehydrated watermelon is like candy, and watermelon is probably my next favorite thing next to tomatoes. I mean, I when I was a kid, my dad would buy the biggest watermelon he could find because you know my family was on the big side. But man, I would eat half that watermelon by myself, and then be sick because it was too much fiber. But anyway, so we're going to cut this thing. I don't normally cut a watermelon this way. I usually do it this way. But we're going to cut it this way today so we can, I don't know, see how that works out for us. Oh, it sounds nice. It still sounds crispy. Oh, how pretty. Oh, I grew this. Oh, Lord, I wish I had smell a vision for you guys. Oh, 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 I got to take a picture on my phone. By the way, I got a new phone. Why'd you get a new phone? Um, I lost my flip phone. And I didn't do it on purpose, but we'd always said that when my flip phone died, we would get a smartphone, so it would be easier to do the, the business of YouTube, since that's our, my job. And hopefully one day his full-time job. Um, so yeah, I have a Samsung Galaxy something or other. And I'm going to take a picture and put it on Instagram right now for you guys. If you want to see my lovely flowers, I got lovely flowers. Aren't my flowers lovely? I grow them with the help of the law. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind all my strange accents. I don't mean anything by them. That's just me. I seriously do that all day long. Don't I, babe? Yeah, you do. I like my accents. I like to be silly. Sorry about the background noise. Everything I read said to preheat this sucker, the dehydrator. And so that's what we're doing. So that's what that noise is. Sorry if you can't hear me. I'll yell a little bit because I can be very loud. Alright, well I'm going to get to de-seeding with you. Yeah, help me out. Help me, help me, Christopher.
Okay, guys, first tray filled. Check it out. There she is. Now, let's put her in the dehydrator. Okay, here we go. In the dehydrator. The dehydrator is set to 135 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to leave the watermelon in there for 10 to 12 hours. But because of some videos I've watched, sometimes it gets a little too dry and crunchy. So I'm going to start, you know, checking on it around 8 or 9 hours just to make sure I'm not making hard crunchy watermelon because it would break my poor pitiful teeth. But anyway, let's get to filling up the next tray. Okay guys, this is our last tray. We had three full trays and then this one partial tray. I've got some tomatoes, store bought, but Campari's that I really love and we might just sloss up a couple of those in half and throw them on this tray to fill it up. Just see what happens because I didn't get to de de dehydrate any of my cherry tomatoes because I was just too sick to do it. So uh, yeah, it's the last tray. Yay! Okay, so if I'm going to buy a store-bought tomato, this is the tomato I buy. It's called a Campari tomato. Um, sometimes you can find them organic, sometimes you don't. But for a store-bought tomato, if you just want a tomato to eat like I do, it's better than any cherry store-bought cherry tomato. And they're like little saladette. They say they're the chef's tomato. And I love them. Stick it in the middle and come that way. Stick it in the middle and go that way. Now these I am going to put salt on. Pink Himalayan salt. Really quick little hearts. Alright, so I've got more room than I expected, so I'm going to do another one. So this is the little Campari tomatoes. A lot of times they come out of Mexico. But, um for a store-bought tomato. And with my diet, I would love to be able to say I only eat tomatoes, you know, in the summer when they're fresh. But with my diet, and sometimes tomatoes are the only thing that sound good to me, and so I still buy these Camparis and I eat them all winter. Um, because it's so hard to eat when, when everything you eat causes you pain. You don't want to eat in the first place, let alone eat something that doesn't sound yummy. So, even though tomatoes don't really have a lot of calories, I love them. So, when I'm not feeling well, I'm eating tomato soup. These little tomatoes, that's why I bought these, because I wasn't feeling good and it sounded good. So, there you go. Now then, I'm going to put that in a dehydrate towel. Go. You get a shot of that beauty in there. Yay. Okay, so now we have our watermelon in there and we put some tomatoes in just to fill up that last tray. And now it's going to take 10 to 12 hours, like I said, at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm kind of torn on what to do. Do I wait until they're done to end this video? Or do I end this video now, go ahead and put this up today, which is Saturday, October the 10th, and then just tune in tomorrow and see the results. I think that's what we're going to do because we really... We need to see you guys today. You need a video. We miss you. And we didn't post yesterday because I had a horrific, horrific day. It was terrible. I'm talking I had vomited in my hair. I'm not going to tell the whole story because it's that bad. But I was late to my infusion. But I did get IV fluids yesterday. I got my 4 grams of magnesium. 
Woke up this morning, still had a bad headache. My hands and feet were swollen, which is also a sign of low magnesium. But now they're all back to normal, and I'm starting to feel better. My headache's gone at this point. Just my tummy's bothering me. So, um, Chris, do you want to join me for the end of the video, baby, baby, baby? One more thing, and I've got to do a big old shout out to Colleen with Winging It with Irish Colleen. She is so close to that thousand subscriber mark, guys. Just like us, she's trying to hit that mark. So, guys, if you have not started watching Winging It with Irish Colleen, I'm going to link her channel up here. And um, go check her out. Show her some love. Click that subscribe button for her, the not notification bell. You're going to love her. She has chickens, and she does all sorts of fun, cool things. So be sure to check her out. And congratulations, Colleen. You are so close. We hope we can help you out. I'm going to share you on all my social media as well. Okay, guys. We hope you enjoyed watching us put this watermelon in the dehydrator. And us banter and a wee bit of an update on how I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. I, I hope you liked it. I love cutting up the watermelon all those seeds. We got plenty of seeds for next year, guys. Save them up. You never know. That's right. Save, know. save, save. And I want to shout out to uh, Homestead Rewind as well. She has got a sack of jack-o'-lantern pumpkin seeds. I mean, a sack. And I was like, oh, I wish I had that many pumpkin seeds. Because I'm running low because we didn't, you we know. We didn't do a pumpkin this year. Well, we did. They just... Yeah. didn't do the yeah, one volunteer right. pumpkin we got one sugar pumpkin and my everything just scr struggled struggled for us this year i mean 2020 has been hard in more ways than one and we'll do a video about our 2020 gardening year soon so uh, i'm gonna wrap it up here and we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching our first official dehydrating video um so i'm glad you joined us Anything to add? Oh, see you guys next time at the Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye. Please share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, we're trying to get to that thousand sub mark and his beard. Oh, we didn't take the braid out of your beard. <laughs> I braided his beard today. And a thousand sub mark, we're going to shave this back. I'll give boy. him a choice. How about the beard or I eat a quail egg? A raw quail egg? No. Vote beard. <laughs> Vote beard. Thousand sub. Uh, shave beard. Because I don't like this. I like his mustache and his goatee, but I don't like this. You know? So we need rid of this. So share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you here next time. It's like Fact Homestead. God bless and bye-bye.